Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Sonali. Welcome to my channel if you are new, and if you are, definitely hit that subscribe button. I'm trying to get to 25,000 subscribers before November 25th, which is my birthday. Also, a lot of people comment that they have the same birthday as me, which is actually crazy because I really haven't met many people with the same birthday as me, so comment down below if you guys are a Sagittarius or a Scorpio or are November babies. If you guys are already subscribed, make sure to turn on your post notification bells for my videos so you guys can get notified every time I post. Today I'm going to be filming a QA. and a I feel like it's well overdue, so I asked you guys to ask me some questions on my Instagram stories, and let's get into it. The first person asked for a health update and I feel like this is very fitting because I've been literally just non-stop posting food on my Instagram stories and I've actually been doing low carb for the past month or so right before I went on my weekend trip to Lake Travis. Um, but after that, it's been going downhill, I will say. I did cheat on my diet that weekend. I was planning to going into it, but after it, I wanted to get back on the health grind and do the low carb diet again, but I've not yet done it. I've been posting like really just not healthy food on my Instagram stories, but I will keep y'all updated if I do start over because I still wanna do a low carb um, snacks and meals video because even if you aren't doing a low carb diet, it's always nice to have like lighter meals and snacks to kind of keep you full throughout the day. Another thing to update y'all on is that I did pause my Orange Theory for a second time for the first time and I did another 60 day pause. Like I said in the video that I told y'all I quit Orange Theory, I like Orange Theory, it's just the fact that I don't really wanna wear a mask while working out. Um, and we did sign up for a lifetime. We've literally been maybe like two or three times. So we really need to get back into the workout grind and stuff. Ryan's been running a lot actually, I'm really proud of him. I need to get into running, but I have really bad shin splints and I'm a more of a treadmill runner and not like an outside runner, so. And plus it's like deathly hot here in Austin, so I don't know how anyone runs outside. Austin is a fit city in general, so every time I go out, there's always people running and I'm just like, how, how? <laughs> the next person asked, do you have a two-year plan? If so, where do you see yourself? I honestly don't have a two-year plan and I feel like a lot of people have goals and plans for themselves in the future, but I don't. I obviously know that there are certain things that I want to happen but I haven't like written down any goals or like made it like a manifestation kind of thing. You know what I mean? Like obviously I would love to buy a house in the next two years or so. I feel like that's the only thing I'm thinking about two years from now. So yeah, buying a house, I guess. Someone asked what foundation I use and I use drugstore foundation, y'all. Don't sleep on it. It is the L'Oreal Pro Glow. They also have a L'Oreal Pro Matte. So that is great for people with oily skin. I'm pretty dry or like normal dry. So the L'Oreal Pro Glow is perfect for me. And I wanna say it's like $15 at the drugstore. It's just crazy to me because I used to spend like $50 or more on foundation every couple of months in college because I always thought like, oh, I have to get my foundation from Sephora. And like, I was just such a brand snob, but y'all, seriously, this foundation is amazing. If you guys try it out, please let me know. The next person asked, did your boyfriend end up getting the Tesla? So his lease is actually ending in February, so he hasn't really decided yet. I feel like he wants a different car every single day. Um, so I will keep you guys updated with that, but I'll definitely let you guys know next year in 2021 crazy that this year is going so fast. A lot of people are asking me where I got my hair colored and I went to Salon Mystique here in Austin and I got my hair done by Misty and Grace. I actually posted an IGTV video about this but I'm getting a lot of people saying that they can't see my IGTV tab on my Instagram profile so let me know if you can't like DM me and I will literally just send you the video link but it is on my profile so go check it out. Hopefully you guys are able to see it. They killed it seriously at first I was like kind of nervous just because of the baby highlights they were a little dramatic for me just because I don't really like dye my hair like this light but I'm actually so obsessed I will probably keep dyeing my hair something like this just because I love the dimension it gives my hair someone asked my ethnicity and I'm Indian my mom's Indian my dad's Indian and fun fact my name means golden child so yeah <laughs> Next question is, where do you purchase most of your quarantine outfits? And I feel like I've done quite a bit of hauls during quarantine, which is horrible, but my online shopping addiction has only grown since then. My last order was from Misguided, and I highly recommend that place. It is 
not super cheap, but definitely more affordable than a lot of the things out there right now. Um, but then obviously Boohoo is one of my go-tos. It is on the cheaper side, the quality is cheaper, the prices are cheaper. Forever 21 online has some really good picks. Um, I'm trying to think. For jeans, Zara, I need to get some new jeans. Right now I'm obsessed with the light wash jeans that are like straight legged and like really loose looking. I don't know, it's just also really comfortable. Um, so yeah, those are a few stores that I've been shopping at. Someone asked me, how did I learn photography? And I mainly learned off of just random Google articles or YouTube videos. I always recommend beginners starting on YouTube and just learning the logistics of a camera. When you're first starting out, it is kind of like hard to grasp. It does take a while to like memorize everything. Oh, hello. <laughs> but as time goes on, your work will only get better. And photography is so much fun, so I recommend everyone try it out. The next question is, where did you audition to be a part of the Skims collection? So I didn't audition. <laughs> it's kind of like weird how it worked out. Basically, I had this one photo on my Instagram in a Skims like scoop neck bra that I posted when I did my Skims haul. Like this was like last summer or something. They ended up really liking the photo. Like at first they asked me if they could post it on their stories. And then they asked me if they could use it in their email marketing. And then they emailed me and asked to use it in their paid marketing campaigns. And I was like, what is so great about this photo? I'll post this photo here just so you guys can see it. I just felt like they had so many other influencers posting in their products and their apparel. I was just like, why me in my apartment, like leaning against my couch? I was so shook. Then I emailed the same girl back. I basically said like, I really love the brand because I love Skims, I love Kim Kardashian. I asked them if they needed me to create content around their products or like an upcoming launch. And I was really lucky because the Everybody Fits collection was just coming out. So she sent me a couple of pieces from that line and I shot in them and they posted me on their story. And it was just really exciting because Skims is a pretty big brand and I'm hoping and I'm thinking that Kim Kardashian saw my freaking face. So that's pretty cool. The next person asked me, what age do you want to get married and why? I wanna get married by like 25 and a half because by 26, I'm getting kicked off my parents' insurance. Right now I have a part-time job and I don't know how long I'll be working with them, but I would like to have the option to get on to Ryan's insurance, so I have to be married by 26. I'm currently 23, about to turn 24 in November, so hopefully, hopefully, you know, soon. I don't know. It's weird to say. This is so weird. I feel like I'm a child. When you're married, I feel like it's over. You're kicked out of the kids' table at Thanksgiving, so it's just a weird feeling. It's, uh, I don't want to get old. <laughs> Next question is, have you thought about only doing YouTube full time? Good question because I have thought about it and it is not sustainable for me because I don't have that many subscribers and I really don't make that much from YouTube. Like maybe if I put in a lot more effort, I always think this, like literally every night, I'm just like, damn, I should be doing this, this, and this, and this. And I could probably be making so much more money from it and growing my following that way, but there's just not enough time in the day for me to like relax after my part-time job. Um, and it's also weird because my part-time jobs also like video editing, content creation, photography, and then I have my freelance stuff, which is, you know, videography and photography. And then I have my YouTube, which is videography and editing. So it's all the same, which is awesome because I can use my camera for everything. It's a great investment. Um, and I obviously do what I love every single day within all of these jobs that I do, but I do get burnt out quite a bit, <laughs> like very often. So I've definitely thought about just doing only YouTube, but also when I first moved to Austin, Texas, I didn't have a job for like a good like six months, eight months, I don't I can't remember. So I had all that time to, you know, focus on my YouTube, grow my following, but I literally was so lazy. And I mean, obviously I was kind of just like in a weird funk cause I wasn't getting a, post-grad job like I was supposed to be. Um, but also I wasn't using that time wisely. And I feel like if I'm not, you know, being pushed to do stuff every single hour of the day, like things are just not gonna get done. I just work better when I'm busier. Does that make sense? So right now it's no, but hopefully later on, it could be an option. Let me know if you guys are interested to see kind of like the back end of 
the YouTube business side. I really wanna make more videos about monetizing your YouTube channel and like how much I make from YouTube. I personally think all of that is super interesting. I know this one YouTuber, her name is Natalie Barbu and she does a lot of videos like that, being super transparent. And I think it's really cool. I think it's very interesting to know how much these YouTubers are making and what the potential could be if you guys are interested in YouTube. So comment down below if you guys wanna see that video. The next question is, how did you get into influencing? Do you have a degree for marketing? I do not have a degree in marketing. Um, Ryan actually has a degree in marketing, but he's doing sales right now. Um, but my major is radio television, so that doesn't really relate because it was like, radio ads and news anchor kind of things like it doesn't i don't know it's kind of weird i feel like i got a lot of my experiences outside of the classroom and you know from networking and doing things on campus for example i was a social media ambassador for ucf so i got a lot of on-camera experience with them and then just doing my own thing um i obviously started my youtube channel in 2013 and from that point, I was starting to make tutorials and linking my outfits below and all that. So I feel like that's really when I got into influencing. I honestly just find it really funny because in high school, I would post selfies of myself every single day, which, you know, looking back on it was kind of weird, but I definitely got made fun of for it. And now those same people that made fun of me, I feel like they want to be like an influencer and there's nothing wrong with that. And obviously people's opinions change and you know, being an influencer, being a YouTuber, whatever, is so normalized now, which thank God, <laughs> seriously, thank God for that. Cause now I can just be myself and like bring my camera out wherever, but I just find it funny, you know? The last question of this Q and A is, have you and Ryan been fully together since high school or have y'all taken breaks? So we have actually been fully together ever since, was it 2013? No. When was sophomore year? Yeah, I feel like, I think it was 2013. No? I don't know. Okay, we've been together for seven years and something months. Our anniversary is on January 7th. We have never taken a break, which is actually insane. Sometimes I look back at photos of us in high school and it's just so weird that we've known each other throughout all the awkward and weird stages of our lives. That wraps up this Q&A, but before you guys click off this video, I need y'all to do me a huge favor. Please comment down below a video idea or something that y'all wanna see on my channel because I'm running dry on video ideas and really need y'all's help. And obviously I make these videos for you guys too, so I definitely want your input. If you guys want to keep up with my everyday life, you can follow me on Instagram. It is at so underscore gnarly without the G, and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye!